Greetings. In this presentation, we are going to discuss about various techniques for cleaning and shaping. Root canal preparation can be done in several ways. There are apico-coronal techniques, corona-apical techniques and hybrid technique. First, let's see the apico-coronal techniques. Standardized preparation technique is the first technique under this. The standardized technique or the conventional technique was introduced by Ingle. This technique involves the use of standardized reamers or files of increasing size to enlarge the apical portion of the canal by using circumferential filing motion. All the instruments are used to the full working length and thus the shape of the instrument imparts the final shape of the canal. Next technique we are going to see is the step back technique or telescopic canal preparation or the serial root canal preparation. The technique involves two phases. Phase 1 consists of the apical preparation. The apex is prepared 2 to 3 file sizes greater than the initial apical file to the full working length. In phase 2, place the next file in the series to a length 1 mm short of the working length. We gradually prepare the remainder of the root, uh, root canal by stepping back with increasing file sizes. Repeat the same procedure with successively larger files at 1 mm increments from the previously used files. Similarly, mid canal area and coronal part of the canal is prepared and shaped with larger number files. Finally, refining of the root canal is done by master apical file with push pull strokes to achieve a smooth taper form of the root canal. Phase 2 is completed by producing a continuing taper from apex to cervical region of the canal. A modification of this is the modified step back technique in which the step back is started 2 to 3 mm from the initial working length to get a parallel retention form at the apical area. In a passive step back technique, another modification is made by using a combination of hand and rotor instruments for cor coronal flare before apical preparation. Next we will see the corona apical techniques in which the first is the step down technique. The procedure involves the preparation of coronal thirds in two phases. In phase 1, the root canal is penetrated using H files of sizes 15, 20, 25 to where they bind. In phase 2, gaze skeleton drills of number 2, 3 and 4 are used sequentially shorter thus flaring the coronal segment of the root canal. This is followed by apical instrumentation which involves two steps. In first step, the working length is determined and in step, step 2, the remaining canal is shaped in a step down approach using a descending file sequence progressing 1 mm per consecutive instrument apically. In crown down pressureless technique, early coronal flaring with gate clearance burr followed by incremental removal of dentin from a coronal to apical direction is done. Straight K type files are used in a large to small sequence with a reaming motion and no apical pressure, hence called the pressureless technique. Now let's see the hybrid technique, which is a combination of uh, crown down and step back technique. Both rotary and hand files are used in this. The coronal third is prepared by using hand or gate sclerin burrs till the point of curvature without applying excessive pressure. And the apical portion of the canal is prepared using step back technique. Another technique described as the double flare technique is done by preparing the canal in crown down manner using K files in decreasing sizes up to the full working length. After this, step back technique is followed in 1 mm increments with increasing file sizes. So by this, we come to the end of our discussion about cleaning and shaping. Thank you.